All right, folks, so I have over here MSI H310M Gaming Plus motherboard. It's an Intel uh, 8th Gen motherboard that uh, with a BIOS update is definitely 9th Gen compatible, but uh, we haven't done the BIOS update yet, so let's find out if uh, we can boot to BIOS with a 9th gen, specifically, uh, I don't know if you can see that, the i3-9100 in the socket there. So we are going to uh, get a little bit of thermal paste, put our uh, CPU fan on there, and uh, then I'm going to boot it up. Uh, we've got everything hooked up. Hopefully I did it properly. I've done uh, hundreds of computers now. And even I still uh, screw shit up, but uh, hopefully there won't be any problems, and we will uh, see how it goes. So I'm going to pause this and get the fan on there, and uh, when I come back, we will hit the power button. All right, folks, before I get this started, let's uh, talk about what I've got here. So we discussed MSI. H310M Gaming Plus motherboard, i3-9100. I'm using a pretty cheap Apivia 470 watt Captain Power power supply. This has uh, two four pin CPU connectors right here. All right, 12 volts. And the 24 pin uh, motherboard power. I believe this is a uh, Rose Wheel case that I've got it connected and uh, I didn't really need everything connected that I have on here um, normally I wouldn't even bother with the USB 2.0's or the HD audio which is on there but we are um, using the case for the USB's which uh, I could have just plugged into the motherboard um, then I had to I almost forgot my keyboard folks my Red Dragon keyboard and mouse and uh, we've got 8 gigs of Patriot uh, DDR4 RAM if I remember correctly maybe 4 gigs and that's about it folks so moment of truth oh, and we use some really super cheap thermal paste because uh, unfortunately on this channel that's all we can afford alright fire in a hole so if everything was hooked up right and it is truly compatible uh, we should see the BIOS here shortly and boom so that's a good sign right alright so I'm gonna go ahead and dim the lights folks because uh, you know nothing worse than what these usually look like when uh, uh, when the lights are bright. All right, and then you can see my keyboard light up. Thank you, uh, Red Dragon, by the way. All right. Probably need to tighten up my uh, tripod. I think it's dropping. So what you see here is indeed an i3-9100 at 3.6 gigahertz H310M Gaming Plus motherboard and somewhere is our BIOS version right here, E7B28IMS.100. Look at how freaking old this BIOS is, folks. February 27, 2018. Oh my God. Amazon, or whoever I bought this from, may have been Newegg. Uh, it's either Amazon or Newegg. Two places I buy my motherboards. Can you please get some newer stock in? That is freaking old. So. CPU is uh, doing it right there, 41 degrees Celsius. And if I had my little uh, laser temp, we could verify that. I don't know where I put it, otherwise uh, we would uh, at least check the motherboard temp out. So folks, watch out for the next video where I show you how to update the BIOS. Though, for the most part, you can rest assured that the other 9th gen chips should work. Uh, this is one of the uh, 
not the latest, but uh, it's been around for a while. So um, the fact it works in this motherboard is a good sign. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.